the Association of American Railroads presents Victor Herbert's colorful gypsy operetta, The Fortune Teller, starring Gordon McRae and his guest, lovely Nadine Connor. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff, and our music is arranged and conducted by Carmen Dragon. Yes, tonight another great musical success is brought to you by the American Railroad. The same railroads that bring you most of the food you eat, the clothes you wear, the fuel you burn, and all the other things you use in your daily life. And now, here is our star, Gordon McRae. <laughs> Marvin Miller, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. In the world of comic opera, there's one magic name, Victor Herbert. Tonight, Nadine Connor plays the lovely Musette, and I shall be a gypsy named Candle as we bring you The Fortune Teller. <laughs> with Musette the first moment I saw her in the ballet at the Royal Opera House. I was a poor gypsy watching her from a distance. And as she whirled on the stage, I felt somehow that she danced with all the fire and fervor of a gypsy queen. And yet she was not a gypsy. Or so they told me. Girls of my ballet company, I am about to disclose something of the greatest importance. <gasps> is it a new step, Professor Fresco? One of the most important new steps. It is the step matrimonial. Girls, Count Berezanti is coming here in a few moments for the purpose of marrying you. Oh, He's going to marry all of us? Well, not more than one at a time, I hope. Oh, that old goof, Count Berezanti, the decomposer of music. Here he is. Look you pretty, girl. Come in, Count. Ah, Fresco. And you <laughs> lovely lady. You uh, know all you beautiful girls have inspired me to compose a new walk. <laughs> yes? Oh, li listen, listen to it. Da, 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 dee, Quank, quank. Quang, quang, da, da, dee, dee, dee. Quang, 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 quang. You know that could become popular in time. You just composed that? Oh, isn't it cute? Oh, Berezovsky, you genius, you. <laughs> Excuse me mentioning it, Count, but have you ever heard of Johann Strauss? A very jealous man who hates me. <laughs> I can understand why. Now, about the marriage proposal. Oh, yes. Chew these little tears out of here, Professor. I don't want my choice of a wife to be influenced by a pretty face. <laughs> All right, all right, girls. Dismiss. Disappear. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, Count, which one of my dancers do you like best? Well, now tell me, but which one owns a smooth great Musette does. She had it since she was a small girl. Oh, then I'm in love with Musette. No, she doesn't know. But she's the daughter of a gypsy king and the only heir to one of the rich fortunes in Hungary. You mean to say that your excellency would marry for money? After all, your title will sometime try eating a title between two slices of pumpernickel. <laughs> <laughs> now go and call her. Very well, very well. Use that. Come out into the garden. Yes, Professor Use that. You have always done as I have asked you, haven't you? It's my one rule in life, Professor. Always do as we told. My age is grown more holy, and I've read the same in books. But it doesn't matter what a girl may wear or how she looks. She never should be frivolous, she never should be bold. My grandma says, my darling, always do as you are told. When grandma said, don't touch the jam, I minded her request. I did not care a bit for jam. I liked the jelly best. 
you have such an obedient nature because I want you to marry Count Berezovsky. What? Oh, uh, but, but I must have time, time to think. Well, I'll return in an hour and we shall be married. Uh, yes? <laughs> and that will give me time enough to compose a brand new wedding march, especially for the occasion. Uh, let, let's see. Oh, oh, no, I have it. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. You know, that could become popular in time. Well, see you in an hour, my little bride. Come, Professor. Is that great? Oh, what shall I do? Can I help you, little musician? Who are you? A friend. My name is Shandor. You're a gypsy? Yes. I seem to know your face. And yet we've never met before, have we? Perhaps. Perhaps not. Oh, where was it? How do I know you? Oh, let me see your hand. My hand? Do you tell fortune? Yes. But only gypsies tell fortune. What did you learn? I don't know. What do you read in my hand? Oh, a great love of freedom, of the green forest, the open sky, the stars at night. That's my lifeline. Tell me, what do you read in my heart line, little fortune teller? A girl, one girl. With dark eyes that shine like stars. Oh, who are you? Where have we met? Perhaps long ago in the green forest, where the gypsies live. The birds of the forest are calling for thee, and the shades and the glades are lonely. Summer is there with her blossoms fair. But sighs to greet you and kiss you. All oh, the violets yearn, yearn for your safe return. But most of all, I miss you. Oh, 
me and my gypsy friend, and perhaps someday it can be home to you.
Fortune Teller, starring Gordon McRae as Shandor and Nadine Connor as Musette. I took Musette away from the city to the quiet and peace of our gypsy camp in the forest. And there around the fire, we joined the ring of smiling faces. Am I welcome here? At Gypsy Campfire Musette, anyone with a warm heart is welcome. Oh, I love it. Mm-hmm. A fire, good company, a beautiful girl of my side, and yet there's something missing. What is it, John Gypsy well, must have music. My friends, is this not a better life than the Army? Yeah. Well, then what do we sing to the men who search for fame and gold? Oh, ye warriors, many soldiers and horsemen, all ye who chase for the will with fame, bending your double with care and with trouble, idlers like me have the best of the game. Ye play a game when the winners are losers. Leisure and leisure and fun pass you by. Think ye that I would change places with you, sir? Thank ye, good slaves of the army. Not I. Not I. Thank you. 
hide my friends. We should see if they are friends or our enemies. It is no use looking further into the forest. The news that is gone. Oh, she's drowned. Oh, I know. Oh, me. Oh, my. Oh, I, I must compose a song to commemorate her fate. Let me see. I, I, I have it, yes. Many brave hearts lie asleep in the... You know, if I could think of a last word, that song would become popular in time. Come, come, come. We shall return to the city. Oh, to think that I have found and lost a fortune. Tell her. Now, no. <laughs> now, nobody will ever know that Musette was an heiress and a gypsy princess. Just a minute. What do you mean, my friend? This is none of your business, gypsy. It is very much my business. I love Musette. Yes, I know, but it is at the bottom of the lake. <laughs> oh, no. Musette, come out. Oh, it's a ghost! No, I did not drown myself. As a matter of fact, instead of dying, I really began to live. Now tell us again what you were talking about. Well, I'll just hate myself for telling you this, but but you're the daughter of a gypsy king, you know, and the heiress to all his gold. Oh, I knew in my heart that I belonged here, that the forest was my home, and that one day I would be somebody's gypsy sweetheart. Gypsy, sweetheart. Oh, what a wonderful idea for a song. <laughs> Wait, I have the melody. La, da, da, my little gypsy sweetheart. Ah, ah, ah. You, you know. <laughs> you know, that, that could become popular in time if I leave it alone. <laughs> well, little fortune teller, can you still read the future? I think so. Look in your own hand. What do you see there? Oh, I see a life full of happiness and golden dreams for a man named Sandro and his gypsy sweetheart. Thank you, Nadine Connor, for your wonderful performance. And our thanks also to Jim Backus, who was Count Berezowski, and to Earl Ross, who was Fresco, and to our entire company. The Fortune Teller was booked in lyrics by Harry B. Smith, music by Victor Herbert, and dramatized for the Railroad Hour by Lawrence and Lee. The Railroad Hour is brought to you each week at this time by the American Railroad. Today's headlines tell the story of a busy, productive American preparing to defend itself. Hundreds of thousands of men are being trained and equipped. Training bases are being reopened and improved. Research into many fields is being expanded. Production of all kinds stepped up. New and massive weapons are being turned out. And moving the millions of tons of raw materials and finished products needed is a job for the railroad. A job for the railroad. For, as has been shown time and again, when it comes to moving great volumes of freight, dependently, efficiently, and economically, no other form of transportation can equal or even approach the railroad. Well, folks, next week the Railroad Hour presents something very special. The world premiere of a new musical play, Annie Lloyd. It was written by the young Broadway playwrights Lawrence and Lee, who have dramatized many of your favorite Railroad Hour productions. Dorothy Warren Show will play the title role of Annie Laurie, and I'll be the wonderful poet Robert Burns and sing some of the songs he made immortal. So don't miss our free Broadway preview of this exciting romantic new musical. All aboard! Well, it looks as though we're ready to pull out. And so until next week, this is Gordon McRae saying goodbye. <laughs> Uh...
The Fortune Teller was presented by special arrangement with Sam Whitmark Music Library. Gordon McRae can be seen starring in the Warner Brothers production, The West Point Story. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff, and our music is prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. This is Marvin Miller saying goodbye until next week for the American Railroad. And now keep tuned for your Monday night of music on NBC. Oh!